Hi and welcome. I'm Damon Bruce and you're watching 2K Sports. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's the Boston Celtics going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. And now time to hand things over to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. I'll be back at halftime. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. For myself, Kevin Harlan, and my broadcast partner, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Welcome, everyone. And now the opening lineup for Boston. They've got a... Maxwell is out there with Bird. Then it's Parrish. And for the Lakers. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Here's Buckner. He passes to Maxwell. Comes up empty from the left block. Johnson outside. Johnson right side. Good. Johnson's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Lakers. Nice way for him to get started here early. And guys, hopefully a sign of things to come from him here. Now here's Burke. Maxwell kicks to Ainge. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Bird right side. Six to shoot. Maxwell. Bird, Rambis defending. With the clock winding down, can't get it to go. And the Lakers go on the other way now. And just about a minute into the first quarter. No good. It's far too tentative in the paint. And even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. And good on the basket. Book it. I like it. He could have gone for the forced finish, but opted instead for kind of a nice smooth finger roll. I like it. Well, he's as smart as they come defensively. And no matter who he's guarding, he knows what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and he forces them to do things that maybe don't suit their game. And he also loves to jump into the passing lanes and pick you off. I mean, he likes to shoot the gap. It backfires on occasion, but like a great base runner, he seems to pick his spots pretty well. One thirty-three left to play in the first quarter. Bird against Rambus. Parrish kicks to Bird. Let's it go from 11. Rebounded by Abdul Jabbar. Lakers have gone two or three here to start off the game. Pass to Rambus. Bird covering. Dunk home with one hand. And not much resistance on that jam. Yeah, defensively, you're right. Not a great sequence. Well, they lost track of him and they paid the price. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Passes to Maxwell. Here's Buckner. The pass to Maxwell. Right up. Good. Yeah, saw just a little bit of daylight. Went right to the rim. The Lakers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Back to Abdul Jabbar. Inside, Rambus. Sinks that one from the post. He's a guy that'll take it right into the teeth of the defense. A lot of his points come from inside of five feet. Ames kicks to Parrish. The jump hook. The Lakers with the rebound. Rambus, and that one's good. He has six. What a start it's been for them from the field in this game. You know what, it's, been, it's early, but if they can keep shooting at this rate, Steve, they'll run away with this thing. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the night here. Mm -hmm. 
Free throw drops for Rambus. There's 14 seconds left in the first. Archibald, he's guarded by Cooper. Offline from the high post. Got it up. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. That shot absolutely had to be reviewed. It's going to have a major impact on this game. To the naked eye, that was a very tough decision. Man, you'd love for the replay to be definitive, but wow, even in slow motion, it's hard to tell if that one should count. Well, the ruling is in, and the call stands. No basket, so no change, Clark, and the scoreboard as we end the quarter. Smart decision to review the shot. That was indeed very close to being legitimate. And that does it for the first quarter. The Lakers on top. They're up by seven. And back in a moment. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? And I like what they've done offensively, really attacking the rim, getting a lot of points in the paint. And guys, they've been the aggressor early. I mean, attacking the hoop and getting into the paint, that can make the game really easy for you. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. So for the Lakers right now, they've got Abdul-Jabbar. Cooper is out there with Johnson. Then there's Worthy. Archibald, he's guarded by Johnson. Here's Archibald, blocked, but he stays with it. It's stolen, and keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burt for an update. Hi, Doris. Guys, after getting up close to 300 pounds a few seasons back, Kendrick Perkins has slimmed down quite a bit and still is one of the strongest players in the league. He said, in the past, I was used to eating whatever I wanted. I had to change up my diet, and I feel a ton better. It's just a sacrifice you have to do. You have to be honest with yourself and look yourself in the mirror and go from there. Guys? All right, Doris, thanks. And guys, even the svelte version of Perk can set some bone-jarring screens. And he makes the first. So both teams making some changes here. And both free throws, good for Johnson. I'm always impressed by big men who shoot free throws as well as he does. For some reason, they're a rarity. The feed now to Ainge. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Lakers leading by 11. Back to Worthy. The dish to Johnson. Fires the three. Can't hit, so the Celtics will take it the other way. Ames the pass to Maxwell. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Kicks it to Ames. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. So both teams changing it up here. Both free throws good for Mange. Lakers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Lakers working the ball around now. Pass to Rambus. 1-11 left in the first half of basketball. That's good. Nine points in the game so far. Celtics trail by 11. So the Celtics call timeout their first. You know, all coaches hate defensively when you give up easy points in the paint. That, that's inexcusable. So that, that's the reason for this timeout here. I think it came down to the fact they were getting beat inside. And that's why the coach called timeout. They were not winning the battle inside. Here's Archibald. Can't convert off the drop step. Usually if he gets to the rim, He's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. And it's blocked. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Here's Henderson. The Lakers with the rebound. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. And now, guys, still early in the second quarter, and that's his second foul. 
I'd be anxious to see if they leave him in here. The Lakers have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And Abdul-Jabbar, no good on that one. Celtics trail by 13. He dishes it to Bradley. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Rambus kicks to Johnson. Up and in on the layup. Johnson's got 10 points in the game. Offensively just hammering away in the paint. And that's 10 straight points inside, too. And Bird bats him in. Left block shot on the way. That's an unusual, surprising miss for him. Typically, he's good on those inside. Rambus, and that one's good. Rambus. He's got 11. They are trying to pull away here, continuing to add to this lead. Well, Steve, no time is a good time to let up in my mind. I mean, you got to continue to just play the game no matter what the score is. No mercy being shown out there, and they're looking to pull away. I like that. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Lakers lead by 17. And coming up now, it's the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. We'll return with the start of the third quarter in just a while. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Happy to have you with us for tonight's game. Let's start up the halftime report. The Lakers have been just all over the court. Offensively, they've been in a zone. A lot of great team play, providing looks from all over the floor. And no shortage of desire from the Celtics side of things. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. Now let's head back out to the start of the second half. Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke take it away. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a technically tested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. Now here's Johnson on the court for the Celtics. Parrish is out there with Bird. Then it's Ainge. Then there's Maxwell. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Well, and they were 74% free throw shooting as a team last year. So those numbers could come up. Both shots good from the strike. Celtics trailed by 19. Pick it out. Pick it out. Bird outside. Bird right side. Here's Ainge. The rebound by Johnson. A nice little rebounding advantage they're enjoying here. Yeah, and that's the reason they've got this big lead. I mean, they're dominating the glass and really being tougher than their opponent. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. Lakers leading by 17. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Ainge grabs the board. Ainge has got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Buckner. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here's Johnson. 12 points for him. Stolen by Ainge. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Flushes it down. Boy, they were not wasting any time on that fast break. Well, when it starts with the turnover, that's the best time to get out and run. You can beat the defense down the floor that way. Were these checked in for Rambis? And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Ainge against Johnson. That one goes. Count it. Johnson's got 14 points for the game. Well, the main strength of his is his finishing ability in tight. And even if you get a body on him, he can power it through the contact. And another one of his great qualities is his clutch play at winning time. 
I mean, he loves those big moments and always seems to come through for him. Bird against Worthy. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back call here. Well, you like it when a guy goes hard to the boards, but you have to be smart. He went over, right over his back on that one. Not, not a good play. I think he was just over-anxious that time. 129 left to play here in the third. Down low. Open look. Green for two points. 119 left in the third quarter. He feeds it to Abdul-Jabbar. And here we go. Fast break. Henderson's got it. Lakers leading by 12. Johnson outside. He kicks it to Worthy. And Boston with the rebound. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. The Celtics shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Well, last year, collectively, I mean, this team shot 74% from the free throw line. Pretty low number. And the Celtics making a change here. Lakers have gone one of three since starting the second half. Puts up a three. Johnson can't hit. Here's the Celtics with the ball. A big stretch here going 10-2. Down goes the slam. Now they're on a hot streak now. They can't miss and really trying to cut into this lead. Well, it's been a fantastic comeback effort, guys, and they've actually shot their way back into this one. And that's exactly what you call a high percentage hooper there. It sure is. Mm. A one-handed throwdown. Gotta love it. Ames the pass to Maxwell. Over at Dual Jabbar. Maxwell's shot is no good. The Lakers have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Johnson, the rebound by the Celtics. Ainge has got four rebounds now tonight. Taken away. Are they with it? Ball's not loose. And pushing it up. Here's Boston with two seconds left. Can't get it to go. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers ahead. They're up by 11. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. As the fourth quarter gets rolling here, let's check out our Sprite Uncontainable Game. Let's go to Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin, our uncontainable game in this one, the stretch by the Lakers. As their lead grows, so has their defensive effort, and they keep feeding off one another. It's been a statement game for them on that side of the ball. Doris, thank you. And what a concerted effort they put together tonight. And, you know, that was really the uncontainable aspect in this game, Kevin. They got on the same page as a team and pretty much did what they wanted for the entire stretch. Well, clearly it's a different game without that scoring run. That was a game-changing run, no doubt. Celtics trail by 11. They've got Cooper, also Johnson out there. And it's McAdoo in at the five down low. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. To the inside, it's stolen by Johnson. A solo fast break. All alone, throws down the breakaway jam. Kevin, what I like about him is that he tends to get hot at the most opportune times. It doesn't matter if it's coming out of a halftime or out of a timeout. Uh, he just has a knack for heating up in a hurry. Whereas almost all players go through their ups and downs, Steve, that's not the case with him. He just goes about his business the same way every night. Five on the clock. Here's Archibald. And poor shot selection there. Not a high percentage look for him. Lakers leading by 13. Here's Rambus. Tries from 16. Parrish grabs the board. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. To the paint. Both teams deciding to change it up. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're losing by 13. There's 154 left in the game. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics had some instruction for his guys during that break. He told them, no holding back. I want 100% effort out there. If you can't give it, ask for a sub. No time to rest now. Let's get after it. Kevin, he wants everything they've got. Abdul-Jabbar with it. 
And it's McHale picking him up. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. As the three-point shot has become more and more prominent in the NBA, you know, the mid-range jumper has fallen somewhat into disfavor and taken a back seat. Defenses are actually geared to force shooters inside the three-point line. You hear coaches talking all the time, chase them off the line, and then challenge the two-point shot. Maxwell is checked in for the Celtics. And when you talk about the three-point shot, Steve, do you, do you think it's starting to take on too much prominence, or do you like the way it's affected the game? I actually preferred it, Kevin, when you know, only maybe 10 or 12 three-pointers were attempted per game and that there was more motion offensively, more diversity. Now it seems like everybody just spreads the floor and, and, and launches threes from all over the place. It's, it's fun to watch at times, but strategically it's not, it's not as interesting. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Parrish dishes to Ainge. Back to Parrish. Pocket six. Here's Bird. Gets it to go. Points in the paint have been the main course, or main entree, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Now they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. And they're struggling a little bit on the glass. They've got to pick up their physical play in the paint. Yeah, it's about being tougher and, and more physical, just as you said, Steve. If they can do that better, uh, they've got a chance to come back. The lead now cut to single digits. And with the defense playing that well, the, the double clutch was the only way he was going to get that ball off. Johnson cannot hit. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Back to Ainge. 44 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Parrish. That is good. Got to be very careful with this team. They can be really strong inside if they get good position. Well, you give up that kind of deep position, Steve. Uh, you're done. It's over. Now you can put this one in the W column. I mean, this is locked up now. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they closed this game out exactly like they needed to. He drops the first one, and that brings them within eight. Both free throws good for Mange. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. You're exactly right. I mean, take care of the ball, work the clock. It's a wrap. Yep, nice game. Doesn't look like they're going to take it easy on them down the stretch. It certainly doesn't look like it. I mean, they're still aggressively attacking the basket and putting up points. And the shot is good. The Lakers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. And the Lakers can just let the clock run down here. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Another shot blocked. Pass to Buckner. Nails it. Here's Johnson. Off the mark. And so the Lakers take the win. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Arlen thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game.